everybody welcome to my video um, today I'm going to be talking about wash day hair at the end of the week I did a video at the beginning of last week about my wash day style hair for the beginning of my work week or at this point uh, stay at home week because of quarantine and everything but um, I didn't wash my hair for an entire week and I um, finally washed it last night and I wanted to do a walkthrough of uh, what I do um, on nights when I'm doing a treatment in my hair. So I right now have a braid in my hair. I um, washed it, detangled it. It took, a, it takes a few minutes, you know, you gotta, I prefer finger method, uh, combing, getting um, all that excess hair out. Um, I wanted to talk about also uh, hair that falls out, right? So we lose a good amount of hair every day, a couple hundred strands. So if you are new to wearing your hair with your natural texture, um, or you're new to going more than a couple days um, without washing your hair, uh, you're gonna find that when you're in the shower and you're not brushing your hair every day, um, you will have a good amount of hair in your fingers or in the shower um, that may freak you out. Um, I get clients all the time saying that uh, they're scared that they're um, they're losing density in their hair or they're worried that they're going bald or they're worried that they should be sensitive to something or they should be keeping an eye on it or I should be keeping an eye on it. And I tell them that it is very normal. Um, I hope nobody is grossed out by hair. I'm a hairstylist, so I don't get grossed out by hair. Um, but I really thought that this might be important to show people. Um, I have my hair from yesterday. Now, this is one week's worth of fallout rolled up into a little ball um and i mean it's a pretty good size i just want people to know that you know it's that's that's a good amount of hair i mean in my palm that's that's a good amount of hair um some people are you know worried that they're doing something to cause um, their hair to fall out and that's not the case. If you're not used to, I mean, if you're used to, let's say you have texture in your hair and you're used to flat ironing it every day, odds are you brush it or you run your hands through it more often than not a couple times a day, once a day. Um, those hairs are just gonna fall out. You're gonna notice them on the ground or you're not gonna notice them on the ground, you're gonna see them on your clothes. If you wear your hair natural, you don't want to run your hands through your hair. You have product in your hair, you have texture in your hair, you don't want to ruin your hairstyle. Um, you're going to put it up gently in a, a scrunchie or something very soft. So all that hair that is in the stage of dropout um, is what we call it. Uh, it's just gonna stay in your hair. So when you go to wash, it may feel like a lot, but it is not, it is very normal. Um, so yeah, I just want to let everybody know that that's normal. I wanted to do a video on that for a while because um, a lot of people get worried about that. So if you have any questions or you wanna ask me about that and learn more about the cycle of hair, I would be glad to educate anybody on that. Um, but I did wanna show what my hair looks like. So, um, I washed it yesterday, um, and then I put um, Melt Into Moisture, the Diva Curl um, Mask. And then I soaked my hair in it, so my hair right now has a ton of uh, Melt Into Moisture Mask in it right now. And it smells so good. And then I slept in it. And then right now, it's like halfway damp. So what I tell clients is you can totally sleep in it and either take a shower the next day to rinse the mask out 
or pull it out before it's 100% dry. If you have mm, medium density to thicker density, um, I mean, your hair is probably not going to be dry anyway. Um, but if letting it part where it wants, like this, getting some texture, and take some clips. And that mask can just stay in there. Now, see how that guy is kind of like being lazy because it was braided up like that? So I imagine, and I imagine I might, because I know my hair. If I go this way, let's see, I part my hair this way. The top's gonna be happy because I started the braid pretty high. This side is gonna be a little straight too. But actually, it's not as straight. So we're just gonna. That side's actually better. So let's go with that side. Now, because I'm home, this, this is definitely what I'm going to rock today. But I want volume, and I want something cute. I know that this melt into moisture mask is just going to help my blonde and my natural silver feel great. So, I got a ton of volume here. And I, I know that you all could know this, it's pretty flat right here. This is where I need volume. So I'm gonna take a clip coming in this way, pull my hair out, and go like that. And we'll do another one closer. And it's all about creating that shape that's flattering to your face, right? So we're gonna do it over here. Maybe not that much. Mm -mm. And I'm just grabbing the roots in that middle section so that we get some volume. Volume. There. So, hair is probably like 50% damp from sleeping in the melt in and moisture treatment. It's a great treatment. Um, it feels amazing and it smells like matcha green tea. But anyway, I just wanted to reiterate that when you're wearing your hair natural, you're not messing with it as much, and you're washing it less, you're in the shower less, or washing it in the shower less, um, it's gonna be more hair in your hair. You're gonna be more hair in the shower. Don't be afraid of it. It's okay, it's normal. Um, you can also sleep with your hair in a French braid. It works. Clips are your friend. These medium sized clips are amazing. If you can't find them, message me and I will try to get you some. I have these little packs. I love them. I sell packs of 10. Easy. Should, 10 should be plenty. Yeah. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you. I hope it gave you some information that helped you throughout your day. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, stay at home. Subscribe, share, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.